Hi, Cancer. All right, Cancer. We're here to do your weekly reading. This will be a reading from April 12th. Whoa. From April 12th. The week of April 12th. Um, thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. Please continue to do so. All right, Cancer, let's get into this. Go ahead, ring this bell. All right, okay. Cancer, I hope you're having a really good week. Let's see what's going on for you. Alright, Cancer, let me just move that. Alright, what's coming for my Cancer for the week of April 12th? Alright, very nice. Ten of Disc. Ten of Pentacles. So some long-term goal fulfillment here. Um, prestige, legacy, uh, wealth, abundance, something about, something being established here. This is really good, Cancer. You could already have a family. Things, the bond could be strengthened. Um, if, if the bond is, if you don't have a family, then you could be thinking about long-term goals and what is it what is it you really want for yourself do you want to be married do you want the, the realness the establishment of right now you could be thinking about um you could be getting a lot of recognition for for, for what you have established um maybe in your career uh, this talks about men and fathers also maybe you being an expert your status, you know, your status is the Ten of Pentacles. Very nice. Um, your reputation is um, solid. You could also be in a marriage. Yeah, this will be a marriage where you and your partner are deciding to stay together even though you have nothing in common. Even though, you know, it's, it, it could possibly be very mundane, very boring. But you're both concerned about legacy and seeing it through, seeing the relationship through. Um, this is also this the ten also talks about masculinity. Um, most men, you know, out here they you know they establish, uh, you know, majority predominantly men are. Uh, you know the builders of the establishment us women we, we get to use it and take advantage of it bask in it love it you know but not to say that you you, you can't be a woman who you know establishes um longevity legacy um reputation for yourself and your family this is not just for self this is for family also so this week looks good it looks like a cycle has um You've come into, um, you've come into the establishment. You come into some self-sustaining, um, long-term energy here, to where you have to do nothing. Maybe your money is just coming in uh, automatically. Uh, maybe you are um, going to just decide to stay in something automatically. Not automatically, but um, you're going to decide to stay in something. Uh, because it makes sense to all right what's uh cancer's uh advice here cancer's advice cancer's advice your career is is on fire cancer's advice all right your advice is the eight of wands um something you're trying to manifest i don't know if you're trying to manifest the ten of pentacles with someone so this is a life this is an establishment with a particular person um it says that you're going to have to have some attention intentional conversation here uh there's a lot of mystery maybe even mystery surrounding the other person's finances resources money this talks about mergers and intimacy intimate conversations not just sex or 
sexual nature but intimate in terms of what's your credit score and how much debt how far are you in debt and um, how do you pay bills do you pay them when they get on red or when the letter comes in red paper or you pay them on you know when they first come in you know intimate conversations in terms of how to merge and this could also be in business too you want to know how your business partner or potential business partner handles things um, talks about sharing or shared finances um, you could be having conversations about loans and assets okay once again joint venture is coming up um, again your partner's resources or yours or, or it, you know you both want to know about each other because there's a potential for merger here for a manifestation of the ten of pentacles but someone wants to know what they're getting into okay um, the eight of wands talks about once again intentional conversation it says strike while the iron is hot there's going to be opportunity for something to move and move rather quickly because you are already manifesting it with the eight here also it talks about the ego maybe it needs to subside or someone is still resting in their ego and they need to let that subside um, also talks about obsession here you know, maybe someone's obsessed with you or you're obsessed with them or someone's obsessed with the idea of. All right, so what is the outcome for cancer this week? What's the outcome for cancer? What's the outcome? What's the outcome for cancer? What's the outcome? All right. Wow, cancer, nine of cups. Oh, these readings have been so good for everybody. I don't know what y'all doing about this new moon energy, but it's beautiful. All right, so nine of cups. It looks like you're going to have some fulfillment here. Maybe even some travel. Um, you're going to... With the nine of cups, it talks about pleasure. Um, it talks about, uh, you know, things that feel good. Um, you could be hoping and wishing for a specific person. There could be separation here. Um, because there's somebody's taking time out to think about where they want to lay roots or where they if they want to have a family they're thinking about and feeling their emotions right now um uh oh they're thinking about maybe a feminine energy look we in the nine of cups um we have a a feminine energy here and then we have that ten of pentacles that's kind of masculine I don't know if the masculine is thinking about um, how they can offer something or how they can merge a life with maybe a feminine energy. Someone's thinking about um, trying to be wise about making a decision to of who they will establish the rest of their life with. Um, also, there's a, a learning here. Um, there's also someone questioning their own personal philosophy. Is it good? Yes, it feels good to be alone, but at the same time, someone wants the establishment of, this could be you, Cancer, or someone you're dealing with. Um, somebody is taking time to rest, to think, before making long-term plans, but definitely long-term plans, goals, are on this person's mind, whether it's you, Cancer, or the other person. Um, someone's taking some time out definitely a break from a relationship or a break but someone's trying to figure out how they can some, someone's also trying to figure out how they can untangle themselves maybe from a relationship or a, an established marriage or something like that someone's thinking will it make sense or how does it make sense someone is also resting in the energy of emotions like they want to be somewhere else doing something else with someone else but at the same time um they know that uh, it might not be in their best interest. It's not in their best interest. Also, they know that they can't have the fulfillment there with this person. Wow, yeah, they can't. They can't have complete fulfillment. Or is this going to be like falsehood? So, Cancer, you got welcome the new. So, newness is coming in for you. For some of you, you you want some of you thinking, you know, with a sober mind. Now you're you're thinking more seriously. 
Some of you are trying to bring in something new, maybe a new way of existing, a new life. Yeah, changing your opportunities. Um, you could be anxious or you have some anxiety about going to the next level and being serious. There's a big positive change for you. Um, you just want people to respect your choices. Um, again, you could be taking a trip somewhere. Some of you could be taking a trip somewhere or moving towards someone. Um, you're going to try something completely different. And maybe this is, you, you're wanting longevity, home, house, kids, family, grand, want to be grand parents one day but you're also you know stuck in that energy of being by yourself being the nine of cups having you know living life all alone um maybe it has been fun for you or um you you're enjoying the single life um you're not sure if you want to jump back into a relationship um just allow yourself to feel excited about this new change if it comes to you um, think hard and long about this change also um, again the anxiety it, it yeah it, it's um, bothering you because you want to establish something maybe with um, someone that you're estranged from okay all right so cancer I hope that this reading resonates for you if it does comment down below how it resonates for you also if you want to get your own personal reading go over to the website book there or you can ask a question or two by texting your question to the number below paying for your question and receiving the answer to your question all on your mobile device uh, also cancer you can donate to the channel if you are feeling moved to do so let the exchange happen any monetary don uh, donation is accepted click that link buy me a coffee below that's how you would donate thank you cancer take care